Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, hey. Anna. Hi. Yes. Uh, uh, it's super awesome to have you all here. My name is Marie JT, and uh, I'm here with Anna, um, who you probably be seeing me on our Discord a lot and our Instagram. Um, but yes, I. I've been around there a lot on Discord. Exactly, for those exactly. Yeah. Uh, so it's absolutely great to hear and see you all guys. Oh my God, I'm getting overwhelmed by, by all the messages in the chat. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, hi guys and girls and hi girls as well. Like a lot of girls as always. The, and uh, it's uh, it's awesome that you guys are all here. So this one is going to be a pretty short uh, stream, but we really wanted to uh, put you all together. Uh, make sure all of your questions about this challenge are answered and uh, uh, you know a little bit about the agenda for the next days. So uh, what this stream is going to be about, it's really informal, guys, and it's not, um, it's not educational because uh, we've prepared stuff to be dropped for you in, like, your email. So that's going to be... So it's all organized, you're going to see it all. And uh, meanwhile, me and Anna are just here making sure that, uh, um, yeah, like you guys have the, all the clarity and uh, you know what to do. Like, that's the most important thing. So uh, here's what's going to happen now. Here's what's going to happen now. Like a real quick agenda. So first of all, we're going to talk about rules, like rules of the challenge, which you can and cannot do. Uh, second, we're going to talk about like voting. I mean, I know that a lot of you are joining this challenge to actually complete a project and like challenge yourselves. But, you know, I also know that a few of us are competing. So we're going to explain a little bit about like the voting system. And uh, then we're going to talk about prizes and the juries and leave some space for your questions. So overall, we're probably going to be here for about half an hour. Uh, and... Uh, um, yeah, let's, uh, you know, the faster, the better, the more time you guys have for like actual work um, because, uh, you know, like time is running. So, um, yeah, I'm like, you know, closing my mouth and then passing it over to Anna to talk about rules. And I'm going to, shall I put the rules on the screen so you have yes. them? Yes, yeah, and that'd be great, actually. Perfect. Just Thank give you. me a yeah. second. Just give me a second. Uh, here we go. Yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, you guys all received the rules, right? So just like give us a thumbs up if you've got the rules, if you've seen them. By the way, if you have not, they're already on the website on the challenge page. Uh, so you should be able to see them. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Awesome. All right. So to start off, we're going to talk about timing. Um, so just to kind of reiterate the character, the reason where you're kind of having this as a rule is just to make sure that you're not bringing in a character that you've already made um, to the Spider-Verse challenge. So it's fair for everybody. So do make sure that your character is like, you know, base meshes are fine. So if you like bring in your own base mesh, I know this was a question that was asked a lot on Discord. Your own base mesh is fine. Um, you don't have to use ours that we sent. Uh, just make sure that you don't already come in with a character made to just like adjust a few tweaks and then boom, submit kind of thing. Um, uh, after that, we're going to talk about originality. So this is another one that I know was mentioned a lot is kind of what do you mean by Spider-Verse, uh, the, the theme itself. And so that just means the Spider-Verse in general, all of it. Does that mean just the, the, and the newest movie that came out, what we're talking about across the Spider-Verse universe. So you can do anything from the eighties, you know, cartoon to like the actual live actions, anything like that. Um, we just ask that you don't do a character that's already been done as it's been done. So we want you to reimagine it. We want you to add something, you know, pretty different to this, you know, character so that it's not just, you know, and an the same thing that we've seen already. Um, then we're going to go into tools. Um, you are open and free to use any tools that you prefer. We just generally use ZBrush. So all of our tutorials and the base meshes generally, things like that will usually come for ZBrush. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind work in progress um oh, so yes. for your yes um this is another one uh, i was asked actually whether or not concept sketches are allowed as a whip submission because you need at least one work in progress image sent to us through either our instagram or our like discord we have a specific discord 
uh, channel called Share Your Whips here. So that is where you would submit this or again, Discord DMs. Um, and it is, we ask that it's just a 3D, the actual 3D. So any 2D stuff, like the, the um, yeah, any 2D concept sketches would not count towards this. Mm -hmm. um, for single entry, it is just one entry per person. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Yes. Um, <laughs> a submission format. So we do ask that it, the final model is going to be, you know, a highly rendered image and any format that is like easily accessible by us. So, you know, maybe just don't like send us like some uh, really weird iPad file or something, <laughs> um, but something that could be easily accessed. But generally we're pretty open with the format um, and it's one image only. So do make sure that image counts. It's like top the top image that you can the angle and everything so um then we have submission deadline so all of the entries do have to be submitted by sunday um july 16th at 11 59 pst um and character bios uh, sorry i will just say 11 59 pm <laughs> we're missing pm here yes so. yes pm um Oh, also want yeah. to say uh, people have been asking about how to submit. We will be sending a type form link and an email uh, actually on the Saturday before. So you will get that beforehand. Yeah. We'll open it will also be on, on the website. It will submit mm -hmm. like submissions will be open. So it's quite mm -hmm. obvious that submissions are not open because the challenge has just started, guys. So it will be a little bit of a like red flag if your work is already is already finished. So. Uh, yeah, anyways, it will be open in due time. You'll be notified everywhere. Yes. Um, I also I do see a couple of questions coming up just really quick. It does not have to be posed. Just I know we're doing questions at the end, but it doesn't have to be like specifically posed. It's preferable, but it's not a requirement. Um, uh, character bios, right. So just make sure that your characters uh, come up with a brief description, just talking about like backstory or any unique stuff that your character uh, has and it's just it can be a short little thing that you include with your image um mm -hmm. content rating this has been another popular question um everybody's favorite oh my god you guys <laughs> like what's in your heads like you guys are <laughs> like I mean, like seriously people <laughs> i know it's 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 really because i think it's, people are so worried about like i don't want to step over the specific boundary of what, what is pg-13 <laughs> um but just no excessive, like, no, like, obvious nudity, right? And no excessive, like, gore. Like, it's just, if it's like, really excessive, it's, like, you can obviously have some, like, violence and stuff like that, but just don't be, like, yeah. like, I think you yeah. said it best. Like, don't have blood everywhere, and it's just literally a pool of blood. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. ideally, like, something like that. Exactly. Yeah, you're so right, Ella, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm also going to quickly jump and, like, answer a question that I see two questions of the same on the same. So bios... To, like just basically when you submit your character there will be a field where you can pop in your bios so you don't have to put it all over like you don't have to design the text like no don't worry about it just like there will be we're just preparing you <laughs> by saying this that there will be like a tiny field where you can like your character description um just like you know the story it's the character mm -hmm. story um yes so Yes. Um, and then, yeah. and it, it, it is going to be, a, it is going to be, it's going to be a bio on your character itself. Yes. I did see that as a question. It is on the character. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, the next one is going to be about respect. I mean, it's just, we love constructive criticism at our, our heroes. Like we're all for it, but it's just, don't be disrespectful. Don't be inappropriate. Like, you know, like th there's a line, just, just don't cross that line. Try to be helpful. And like, you know, if you can, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's just to be respectful to one another, you know, especially in our Discord, like we do have a, a section where you can ask for help, um, you know, so and just in that space to be mindful as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. So public so, voting, yes. Oh, I think sorry, we're gonna maybe. go through that in a little bit. Oh no, you can actually um, like, yeah, right? That's on YouTube. Yeah, to... I mean, sure. I'm gonna go into public voting anyways. We're gonna, so we're gonna go into public voting and prizes separately. Um, so I'll, mm -hmm. I can just go straight into public voting and sure. Um, let's go. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys, uh, just in general, like, let's, you know, let's find out, like, do you guys want to know how public voting is going to work or you kind of don't care because if, uh, you know, like if nobody cares, we can just like skip that and, uh, 
um, yeah. Is the use of AI for concepting allowed? Like, look, um, whatever is not prohibited is allowed. We're not going to know if you used AI for concepting or not. We're not against the use of AI for concepting, like, and we don't, you know, um, I mean, yeah, just, meanwhile, there, it's not banned, everything else is allowed. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, people are, yeah, it looks like people care. They say they care, yeah. Okay, we <laughs> Some people care over. a lot. Some people I mean, care those who are going in it for the for, for winning, they they're yeah. probably like yes, okay, please. Okay, so like uh, voting. Here's uh, yeah. Uh, can you go about like can you go through voting system, uh, Anna? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I just uh, do you have the uh, image that I sent for uh, when I talk about community voting. I'm going to talk about judges voting first, but when I talk about community, um, oh, I just yeah. Saw... Yeah, there's a, there's a question. I'm going to answer this later after yes. after we explain if it's still not clear how it's not mm -hmm. about popularity. Uh, I'm going to cover mm -hmm. this one specifically for uh, David or David. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, in terms of public voting, um, so just to clarify voting in general, our first, second, and third prizes, right? Those are going to be essentially covered. They're going to be voted out by our judges. So mm -hmm. those first three prizes that you see are going to be judged by our actual, you know, mentors and these professional artists that we pull together. Um, so that is what those three encompass. The community prize is where the public voting comes in. So that we're going to have a little system. It's going to be on Instagram. Um, we're going to do kind of like, a, actually, I don't know if you, um, actually, I can quickly go over these. Uh, you're going over prizes actually individually. So um, mm -hmm. Uh, if you could, do you mind quickly pulling up that, that image? Just um, The prizes or? The voting thing. I just sent you one. I think I sent you it in a message. Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, okay. Just one second. Yeah. Uh, I'm um, but I can explain. Ah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna do this one quickly. Um, yeah. Let me just present. Um, yeah. So. Um, as Maria is doing that, um, just mm -hmm. to explain, yeah. So it is going to be on Instagram. We are going to put up uh, essentially our shortlisted, the ones that have, we have like a top 10 from our judges that have essentially been shortlisted and we're going to compile them into our, um, uh, the ones who, you know, are, we're going to put them into the stories. Yep, there we yeah. go. And uh, have you guys vote on your community favorite. So mm -hmm. that's who's going to get the community prize. Now, yeah. Each ah, session. yeah. So, uh -huh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So essentially, it's just each uh, photo or each image of the character is going to have a poll where you're going to vote kind of a point system. All you have to do is just understand like the heart is going to be two points. The thumbs up is one point. If you just skip, it's going to be zero points. We're going to accumulate that and then choose the, the one who has the most points will win the community prize. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but um, this will also be uploaded the same day as community voting happens. So if you do, like, you know, it's, this isn't the only place it's going to be. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully that ha hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully that makes some sense. Yeah. So uh, and I'm going to answer this question, like uh, uh, David's question: Wouldn't the public vote transform it in a popularity contest? So then is. Um, it's the third time we're using this system, and I've explained, and I'm going to explain why not. Uh, because actually, not everybody will get to the public vote for starters, because each one of our uh, jury uh, members is choosing their top 10. So basically, um, to get to popularity contest, to get to the community vote, you actually have to, um, like, you have to qualify. Like you have to be pre-selected by one of the jury members. They vote independently. They don't discuss anything. But anyways, so just want to know, what do you guys to know that those of you who get to the community vote are already like probably 10%, like the top 10 of all the participants. So it's already pretty hard to get to that. Um, and uh, once you're there, like it's still voted by our community. So somehow um like yeah like that's i hope this clarifies um yeah and also um 
I'm seeing a message from Nami that the using of AI is not so creative and I hope everybody uses their creativity. Lots of people agree. Uh, I think we'd agree, you know, it's great when people use their creativity. So fully support that. So I really hope that a lot of people use their creativity. Um, okay. Yep. What's the uh, next, that's, that, uh, what's that, the next thing on, my on our end. agenda? Yeah, so you're uh, you're up next with prizes. I will pass this uh, over to that's you. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm next with uh, uh, prizes. So let me uh, stop well, screen. Before you do uh -huh. that, actually, a really sure. quick a question that just came up um, that I think is really important just to mention is, are we allowed to do any post-production fi final render? That kind of conversation of, um, yeah, any sort of post-production kind of questions. So. Um, does that include like kind ah, of... sorry here Michelle that's Michelle question. Can, yeah yeah mm -hmm. um, like Michelle can you clarify like what exactly you would mean here I mean again if it's not uh, uh, forbidden it's allowed but um, like please uh, please clarify um, yeah let me just go through prizes then we go through jury and then you guys can ask all of your questions and uh, we can uh, possibly answer as many as we can. So, uh, generally speaking, we've prepared. We prepared just you know like some of our favorite programs to make sure that it really, really, really incentivizes you. Some of you, at least, to create something really cool. Um, so, um, let me show this. So, basically, the uh, first uh, the first prize for um, like top one uh, challenge winner is going to get a seat in our character artist accelerator. So basically the accelerator is one of our, like everybody's favorite programs. It's a 16 week um, like program that, uh, that we're actually also revamping for this new September intake. It's going to be new and improved with uh, a bunch of new career content. We're working with our career mentors to make it even, uh, even more exciting. And, uh, uh, this program is typically, um, I think it's about like uh, 3,000, but uh, the winner is getting this one um, for free, like the, the first prize. And then uh, the second prize is, uh, uh, and obviously our swag pack. I mean, some people read caps. I, I actually also love our caps and it still doesn't have our cap. Uh, <laughs> I need no. one. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> So uh, we're preparing a really cute swag pack. So like a t-shirt and a cap and uh, just like, you know, some like nice goodies. Uh, and um, the second prize, the second prize uh, is getting on top of the swag pack, obviously, obviously, um, is getting our likeness and facial anatomy program. This is like pretty advanced, uh, but uh, um, hopefully you guys uh, appreciate that as well. And uh, I know like right here, I see like a bunch of our students that have already taken this. Uh, we'll find out if you guys win, we'll get you something else. Um, and uh, then the community prize um, is getting, ah, well, third, th the third prize is together with uh, the t-shirt is getting 3D printing program. Um, and the community prize is getting a one year access to our, uh, to the feedback hub. So feedback hub is essentially um, it's uh, an on-demand mentorship uh, like platform where you can get like access to as many mentors on demand, and uh, uh, it's essentially this. So you can like read up more on what's uh, Feedback Hub. Uh, but you know, like if you win um, and you want something else we're happy to discuss this with you. So we're like pretty flexible in your prizes. Um, you just like guaranteed you're gonna get like that t-shirt, uh, like, yeah, and, and the cap. Um, alrighty, so that's what I wanted to share with you in terms of prizes, but you've probably already seen that. And then um, I also wanted to take a moment to introduce um, our jury. Some of them you probably know, some of them you maybe don't, but uh, they're really, really, really awesome. They're really, really, really awesome. So just, you know, like a quick note, a quick note, who is going to be deciding on um, what you guys create? So um, let me start, let me actually start with, uh, I'm going to start with Gio, why not? 
So we're really, really excited to bring Gio on board. Um, if you guys don't know Gio, go ahead and follow him on our art station and on Instagram. He's, uh, he's a great artist and uh, he's like really, um, he's really amazing with uh, anatomy and expression. But besides that, he's uh, a head of uh, art department at Adobe Substance 3D. Uh, so uh, it's not only my opinion that he's got, you know, a great eye. Um, besides uh, who we've got, we've got Marlon, we've got Marlon Nunes. He's uh, our co-founder. But uh, besides that, he's uh, an expert on uh, digital doubles and uh, digital humans. That's kind of uh, uh, what he's working on. Uh, there is also Hugo Senna, who's a, a lead character artist. And uh, uh, some of you could know him uh, for our hair workshops and he's also our frequent like resident artist and a mentor and um, Nathan Gardner uh, Nathan is based in Canada and he's a compositor at uh, uh, Scanline VFX uh, Nathan is absolutely amazing when it comes to lighting presentation like his characters like really pop also go go and uh, you know like uh, follow him and uh, I'm also going to intro Danko. So for those of you in collectibles and uh, uh, in uh, like uh, probably just like, you know, in organic sculpting, you might also know him. So, um, yeah, like I think we've got an absolutely, absolutely amazing team this time around. And uh, they are really I fair. I think I see Nathan in the chat as well, by the way. Nathan. Nathan. Is, is Nathan. The yeah. Nathan is there. <laughs> All righty. Nathan is there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's awesome. You're like, I see Nathan. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. So uh, exactly. Spot it. Spot it. Um, yeah, so bottom line, we've got an absolutely amazing team uh, of uh, a jury here. And uh, um, yeah, like, uh, so this is, this hopefully clarifies. It's not, uh, uh, you know, like, it's very objective decision. Okay? But at the same time, it's not just about, you know, it's not just about winning. I hope a lot of you are here because of the fun. Um, yeah. We have an amazing hi, community so, really um, going on. Like yeah, we were... What else are we missing besides questions? Are we missing anything? I think, that, I think that covers um, it, and I, I think, think we're pretty recent on time as well. To the questions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, I think. Yep. Oops. I don't think I can hear you, Anna. Hello? No. <gasps> Wait, see. Oh, no. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Huh? I don't know what happened. I did not mute myself, but for some reason. Uh, all right. <laughs> maybe it's me. Um, okay, I love it. Someone in this is in this challenge because the challenge is dope. Yes, I love it. Yes. Honestly, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's just fun. It's a good time. I know. I know. We actually put it together because we're like, let's just do something fun this summer. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so um, post production question. Let's answer this. Yes. Any post production on the final? Filters, highlight shading, color dodge, ultimately, most likely any type of adjustment uh, done on 2D programs. So um, we were discussing this yesterday. It's officially not part of the rules yet, but we're going to send you guys an update so far what's being discussed within like the team because this question has come up multiple times and it's uh, what have, we've done in previous challenges. This time, for some reason, it was not listed as part of the rules. So we don't want to make up the rules like on the go, but we'll you know probably address that. So uh, in previous challenges, it was limited to 10%. Okay? So it's not off the limits, but it will, we will probably have to add it as a part of the rules. Does it make sense? Like... Uh, so in previous challenges that we ran, it was like, uh, you are free to do any adjustments, but just make sure that it's not flipping your 3D artwork upside down. So like limited to, to 10%. And uh, um, like one thing is like, just very all in mind that we're not gonna scrutinize you at the point of submission. So when you're submitting your artwork, you know, you're gonna submit the image, but if you're getting to like somewhere closer to the, um, you know, to like uh, being voted for and if judges have like some concerns it's really easy to be disqualified because 
uh, or you can be questioned. You can be questioned or disqualified. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Awesome. We actually have some uh, questions from Summer Rose that are a little bit up, up, up like from above that were that were pretty yes. good. Um, yeah. You want to answer? One, good. Yeah. So one of them was where to go to watch the tutorial videos and help videos. Um, so uh -huh. I get uh, Summer's never used ZBrush before. Um, so in terms of the tutorial videos that we're going to be providing, it's going to be mostly like kind of a guiding system. Um, to, we're going to honestly, can I give a little preview of what it's going to be? So people will like, okay. Everything. So it's okay. So it, the tutorial is going to be on uh, like kind of a Miles Morales, just like guide through of like, you know, kind of a sculpt and just kind of showing different ways to sculpt to um, like, you know, what Miles Morales is it, like in terms of his spider verse, um, character so that is mainly the tutorials we're going to go over like basic body proportions and like kind of suit design and then as well as uh, power posing things like that so if you are looking for more zbrush introductory tutorials that is not what we're going to be providing in terms of like this challenge content but um i'm sure if you like pose that question we could you know people can throw some ideas around if you're wanting to start with zbrush um ideally you would go for a like a program that you're already comfortable with though like we would definitely recommend choosing a program you already used but if you want to start off this challenge with zbrush i'm not gonna, yeah. we're, we're not gonna stop yeah. you, you know? a, lot of, a lot of like you know like uh, uh summer rose and others who are like completely new to zbrush i mean guys i can only encourage you to actually do this challenge even if you if it's your first like character because uh, in our previous challenges, we've had a lot of people who've started like with that. And, uh, you know, like you have a clear limitation of like a week. But the thing is, uh, uh, you probably won't have time to like, like dive really deep into like following tutorial, tutorials plus making a challenge piece. So just like, you know, push your creative creativity and, uh, and see what happens. Like if you get stuck, post it on Discord. I'm sure there will be people almost around the clock. And you know, like that's my uh, uh, small request to everyone: help a brother or a sister out. Like if there are people who are desperately stuck, please help them out. It's always happened, like without us mm -hmm. asking. But like you know, um, um, yes. Second question: Show it, like, yeah. Yes. Uh, do you want to answer this one, or do you? Uh, I could. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, a lot of people have done that within the past challenges. A lot of people have done have gotten jobs with their challenge uh, characters because we know for sure because then they messaged us and this is like, you know, if you guys are curious, I mean, we're happy to share like the, these stories as an inspo. Like uh, one of like last challenges winners, Joel, he came then to the award ceremony and he just like shared his story how his challenge piece was picked up by like the company that later on got him a job. So please take advantage, you know, like it's that's why it's here. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, and I actually yeah. think that was one Feel of the questions to... from Summer yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like the right, that was Summer. There was another question somebody had mentioned. Um, oh gosh, where is it? Yeah, this one I've only been able to use my and Mudbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, Again, tools, but um... tutorials and uh, and uh, base meshes are done in ZBrush, so that's the yeah. only thing. Okay, um, like pick next any question. next question, Anna. Like it's all you know. Um, I think there was one I kind of want to mention is from Fenial two four seven zero. Who said like um, you know I'm, re I'm a little regretting joining this challenge because they don't have a lot of um, 3D modeling experience. Again, just like really reiterating to because I've also been saying this a lot on Discord. Like I'm a 2D artist. I've never done 3D. Like really, this is this is not just about winning. It is about like trying something out and just having fun and being in a community who's here to support. Like this is how you learn. You learn by by doing and just trying things out. Um, exactly what Sam said. Who cares? This is more fun. And like, yeah. just have a good time and, you know, meet some new people and chat. So please just give it a shot. We just would love to see whatever you make. And um, yeah, we hope yeah. we hope you give it a shot. Yes, absolutely. Um, can I render everything in Marmoset toolback? Yes, whatever you like. We love Marmoset. Um, been like, oh, we're a good partner for a long time. We love Marmoset. Please. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
So another one, uh, I'll take this one. Anna, you take next one, whichever. Okay. Where are the base meshes in the email? And I somehow missed them. Yes, that's the email where the email with the rules, long email with a lot of rules. That's the same email where you have base meshes. Uh, everybody got it 100%. Um, but uh, if you have not, maybe, maybe, maybe somebody can forward you this email. But like, really, it's probably in your spam. Yeah, um, I think okay. there's another one is like unstable molecule says, are there any subtools or base meshes that were required to use? Um, no, there's there's no subtools, there's no base meshes really that you're required. I mean, unless you have a mm -hmm. separate thing, but there's no like, no. I don't feel like, you know, we have a specific like subtool yeah. or anything that we need to Not know. this time. Yeah, this time it's like yeah. slightly different. Okay. It's like a little bit more open, but just, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'll pick next question. Would it be possible mm -hmm. to make a project in uh, VR modeling software such as Gravity Sketch uh, if we export it so that it's usable with ZBrush files? Uh, it's Yes, it's possible. Meanwhile, you can present it uh, as, uh, as a still image. It's all about presentation. Yes. Um, yeah? Yeah. And yeah. I'm trying to find the next question. I think there was someone said... Um, Will there be awesome contests like this every year? I think that are like yeah, yeah probably so. yes. We're trying yeah, to make it every hopefully. year, guys. It's a lot of work hopefully. to pull this all together. Like seriously, <laughs> we're like crying golden tears while well, like you know like doing all the prep for this. But uh, <laughs> but it's worth um, it, honestly. It's so worth it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we love your memes and Discord. We're like you know this is amazing. So uh, yeah, we're having a great um, time. Yeah, so can we create more than one character? You can, but you can submit only one. Uh, if you submit more than two characters, sorry, more than one character, uh, one of them will be randomly deleted. Um, so like one person, one image. Um, Anna, anything you want to answer? I'm trying to see for okay. any other ones. I'll answer this one. Are we making our own characters or characters mm. from the films? You're making your own character that will be a good fit for the universe. Yeah. Okay? And it yeah, doesn't like matter. Like Spider-Verse, not like... Yeah, Spider-Verse. Yeah, not, verse. Not just the, not the animated movie. Like, also, if you wanted to do, like, any of the live actions or video games, like, anything like that, just across mm -hmm. the board. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. Do you want to take this one? Yes. Yeah, so ZBrush tutorials are going to be posted. Um, so on today, we actually have one that just, or no, so that's ZBrush. That was storytelling. So sorry. Tomorrow we have one uh, going out. We have another one going on on Thursday and then one going on on Saturday. So those are going to be the ZBrush. On Friday, yeah, we have but, our live yeah. stream. Oh, yeah, them, exactly. Guys, don't go just yet. There is a live stream. Actually, yes. like, guys, mark it in your calendar. There is like a really, really good session on Friday. This one is just a warm up. On Friday, uh, we're having Josh Wallace, who is an amazing artist. Uh, he works in VFX and he's coming to uh, answer your technical questions and give you some guidance. So if you're like looking at pushing your character a little bit or like, you know, uh, just adding some like twist that will probably make it more interesting. Uh, there will be a separate uh, channel on Discord open for the Friday Q&A. So Friday Q&A with Josh Wallace, it's uh, like around US noon. Um, I uh, might no, that's be... 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Ah, 4, 4 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Ah, Eastern, 4 everybody. 4 p.m. Okay, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. <laughs> yeah, so 4 p.m. Eastern time uh, this Friday. Come here, come back here, and hopefully you have some whips. Even if you don't have your own whip, come and see how, like, you know, like, basically different challenges are being addressed. So that's yes. going to be a really good session. Uh, so and I that's will be Friday. adding a channel as well, like, uh, on Discord, too. And, like, again, you can um, drop your whips there if you want to potentially, mm -hmm. like, have Josh go over them. Obviously, we would probably get it, be able to go over everything. But if you, you know, have a specific question, would 
kind of go through you post a, like a yeah. screenshot and then a question there yeah and um, this session is also going to be available to watch later there is a question from alejandro on that yes it will be available to watch later and the tutorials yes. are all like edited and pre-recorded for you so you can i mean it, they're not live um i mean i think the tutorials we think that tutorials are better um yeah like, could you actually there's a question up here um can we use a background like a new york street for render or just render with a mesh uh you can you can like cool. yeah you can uh so and then uh gonna reply this one again you can use base meshes you can use your own base meshes yes that's it's not off the limits um yeah so the whips can be anything whips can be a video or a still but the submission has to be an image uh oops um <laughs> Wouldn't be better, yeah, seven days, useful tips. I mean, good suggestion, Mobin. We'll think of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll yeah, let's, yeah, we'll bring this back to the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and but... final question. Well, mm -hmm. I'm, let's answer our last one. Anna, if you want to grab one last question. Yeah. Um, let's see, last corner. No, let's oh, just, let's see. I'm trying to think. Does anybody have a last question? Let me look. Um, Friday, which day? So Friday, oh, they, they already got it 14. So that one's already done. Um, yeah. Does anybody have any last questions? Okay. Oh, that's a good question. Actually, does it have to be game ready or well optimized or just a pretty render is good? So, um, yeah, ideally, I mean, it's, if you are aiming to win the prizes and things like that, you know, we want it to definitely be game ready, well optimized. You want it to have a, a high quality uh, well, uh like the thing is yeah like basically guys like i'm 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 going to take over like um yeah. let's just you know like to be realistic you cannot really uh mm. like make it properly game ready so True. you know it's 7 days so let's just you know like it has to be a pretty render you can do it later but we're not going to go into topology or anything so, yeah. But also, if if you are, um, like, also just to add on to that, if you don't have, like, if you're not even able to render it, um, don't stop yourself from submitting anyway. Still submit. Yeah. Like, no, even no, if like, you really don't, you really, like, uh, at this point, only, like, images required. Like, David, do not worry. Please just submit a render. Like, the yes. render is a requirement. Everything else is. is not required. It's a bonus, okay? Yes. Like, no, like retopo is not required. <laughs> yes, it's totally. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, it, like, it's like yes, you can. It's like Anna said it right. Yes, you can. Do you have to? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it easy. Yeah, Honestly. don't worry. If yeah. you don't want to, if you want to make it hard on yourselves, do go go for it. But I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah okay cool okay guys so it looks like we're we're over with a lot of questions and uh um yeah sorry like last one render not a file files will not be required we're not gonna go in your files so yeah um yeah yeah and any if you have any other questions please feel free to send us the question, on like the answer our... is yes you're gonna be judged on the main character though and like yes. the like the render scene okay Mm -hmm. um, you can but yeah if you yeah <laughs> if you um have any other questions though like i uh, we will discord. be in our dms and Everyone. discord so everybody please i mean i'm if, if you've already been there you've been seeing me adding everybody like answering your questions so we're there um even though i was i didn't reply as many today because i knew we were going to have this session so i was like i'm yes, just going to get it all exactly. out today <laughs> So we're going to repost uh, a replay of this one also onto Discord. And uh, yeah, watch your emails, guys, for uh, for the tutorials. We'll consider actually, uh, you know, if uh, we want to send them across sooner than later. But uh, in any case, guys, uh, hope you have a good time and uh, enjoy this community. Enjoy, like, also, you know, like, uh, jump in the rooms. And uh, it's sometimes really great to... Um, hang out with other people and like sculpt something live. Uh, uh, previously, we've seen a lot of people actually just like you know uh, sculpting together in on Discord. So that's uh, mm -hmm. really uh, cool. 
that's that's all for you so okay guys uh we'll see you later and uh, see you friday don't forget to okay. add a you eastern know, like standard a, time eastern standard eastern. time so that's 4, 4 p.m <laughs> 4 4 p.m when my fingers are blurry like oh my god special yeah. effects <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right um ciao guys all right. bye everyone um, bye